In this video, I'll talk about parallel plate capacitor. We will find out what is the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. So this is a diagram of a parallel plate capacitor. Here we have two plates which are connected to a battery. The potential difference across the battery is the delta V. That means the potential difference across the plates of a capacitor is also delta V. So first thing we'll do is we'll determine how much charge will be on to each plate. Here is the same the, the diagram of the capacitor. The electric field of the capacitor is always from positive to the negative from always from positive to the negative plate okay so that's what it's shown here this is the positive plate and this is the negative plate and this gives you the direction of the electric field so this is the direction of the electric field electric field the these lines are also the direction of the electric field but these are the fringe field, fields, the fringe electric fields, okay? The fringe electric fields are the edges of the capacitor and which are not parallel to the, the plates. And for most of the discussion, we'll ignore this fringe field, okay? So, and let's assume the charge on each plate is Q. And as this is connected to the negative plate, the charge onto this plate will be negative Q, and the charge on the plate, positive plate will be positive Q. Q is the charge. And we assume the sigma is the surface charge density. Surface charge density. What does this mean? This means the charge per unit area. So whatever the, it does have the area A and this one has a, uh, the charge Q, the sigma is the charge per unit area. How much charge is, is onto any unit area is called the surface charge density. So from this one, we can find out the charge is equal to sigma times a okay so that's what i have done here exactly the charge onto each plate is equal to sigma times a now we can also find out the electric field between the two plates okay the electric field between the two plates is given by the potential difference the delta v times the distance between the plates this gives you the electric field and this is a homogeneous electric field because the electric field is constant at any point between the plates so this is what i have written here the electric field is the potential difference divided by the distance between them from this one we can find out the, ch the potential difference is equal to the electric field times the distance okay now the electric field if you remember the electric field between the two parallel plates is given by sigma over epsilon naught this is how we find out the electric field between the two parallel plates and we have already done this one in the Gauss law you can also find out the electric field which is sigma over epsilon naught by using the Gauss law okay so the so now from this equation here E is given by sigma over epsilon naught and this is the D by definition C which is the capacitance is given by charge per unit applied potential difference and charge is now sigma times a from this equation 
and the delta v is sigma over epsilon naught times d so we have plugged in the values of uh, the equation for this charge and the equation for the potential difference and if we simplify what we get is c is equal to epsilon naught a over d that means the capacitance is epsilon naught a times d a is the area d is the distance between the plates what does this equation tell you that the capacitance does not depend upon the charge it does not depend upon the applied potential it only depends upon the the area and the distance and this equation is only for the air field when the the gap when the medium between the two plates is air okay so this equation is for the air field capacitor but now let's say we fill the medium between the capacitor or medium between the plates with some other material for example paper plastic oxide teflon water uh, alcohol any medium then the capacitance will change in that case the capacitor is given by c equals to kappa this is called kappa k a p p a kappa times epsilon naught a over d again this kappa is called the relative permittivity of the medium okay this is written here or sometimes we also denote denote this one by epsilon r this is called the dialectic constant it's the same thing so some book if you look at the book some book uses epsilon r some book uses the kappa and i use sometimes both but both represents the same thing this is called the relative permittivity or the dialectic constant of the medium and this is a constant for a medium and epsilon naught is a constant and the value of epsilon naught is 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 farad per meter which is the permittivity of the free space and remember the value of kappa is always greater than or equal to 1 kappa is equal to 1 for air or for vacuum and if you look at any other medium any medium then kappa is always greater than 1 okay and sometimes we get easily get confused between this k and this kappa you remember the electric field due to a point charge is k q over r square this is the electric field due to a point charge and this is the capacitance so in this case this is k and this is kappa and these two are the different physical quantities okay the value of k the value of k is 9 times 10 to the 9 newton meter square per coulomb square and k depends upon the material or the medium just like air water teflon plastic alcohol oxide it depends on the medium okay so this is the the equation this is the capacitance for a parallel plate capacitor okay and again if you have any question regarding parallel plate capacitor please write down your questions in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you so much